In addition to flooding, the water is creating another problem here in the east. It's creating a breeding ground for mosquitoes and other insects, as well as some animals. WNCT's Brandon Truitt joins us now to explain. Brandon. Ken, I spoke with several people today to get some answers on the best way to get rid of those annoying pests. Turns out different bugs require different solutions. Summer weather has its perks, like sunny days by the pool or at the beach, but it also creates an environment for pesky critters. Many in the east deal with pests like fire ants that never seem to go away. You see mounds throughout your yard. We have several different products you can put on top of those, and that'll go down and actually uh, kill the mound. And we also have whole yard options where you can spread them out in your yard and keep the mounds from coming up. There are ways to handle the bugs without breaking the bank. So if you kick over a mound, they're going to build another mound and they're going to build it bigger. Uh, you have to actually go down and kill the queen. And the only way to do that is with these certain products. Brian Edwards suggests preventative steps. You can spray the outside of your home. It'll last for up to 12 months. Uh, you can spot check inside your home with it. It'll kill pretty much any critter that's in there. There are some pests that cannot be treated. Take mosquitoes, for instance. There's billions of mosquitoes out there, and the only effective way to, to deter that particular mosquito is getting rid of their habitat. Vector control manager Jim Gardner says mosquitoes can thrive only if they're standing water. They only fly one to 200 yards from where they're bred. So if you're not growing them in your yard, the neighbors grow on them in their yard. Gardner says it's nearly impossible to tell how bad this mosquito season might be. Saying we're going to have a really bad season, uh, it's, it's like predicting the weather. You've got to be able to predict how much water we're going to have. If we don't have a very dry summer, the mosquitoes won't be bad. Gardner says the best way to get rid of those mosquitoes is to eliminate any standing water. This could include water on a tarp, in a bucket, or even collect it on trash. According to Gardner, if a mosquito has an environment to lay eggs, it can lay nearly 1,000 of them during its 40-day life. Brandon Truitt, not on your side. All right, Brandon, thank you.